So this week, reviewing GDK, but do the products live up to the reviews? Keep watching to find out. So as you can see there, a little bit of B-roll. I'm sure everybody's seen a kebab being sliced. However, German Donner kebab supposedly doing it the best out of anybody or a bit of a twist on a standard kebab. I don't think I've done a review on a kebab. I suppose a gyros, 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 however you say it. Eureka um, was obviously the closest, but yeah, GDK. So as you can see there to start off with, with the fries, they were pretty nice and I was pretty close to the restaurant. So everything was nice and warm kind of to the point where it was hot. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how, but I didn't record uh, what's in the bag this week. So as you probably noticed, no what's in the bag. However, as you can see there, straight into the review, the fries were crispy. I mean, they're probably generic fries, um, but they were flaming hot fries or flaming fries. So they got kind of a, um, I don't know, a chili um, sort of coating on them, which was, was pretty nice, sort of a, a pepper. Um, coating on them which was pretty hot although it kind of wasn't uniform but obviously a lot of them are kind of just randomly applied so it is what it is but they were nice fries crunchy on the outside soft and fluffy kind of they were crunchy definitely um, in terms of fries which I thought was pretty good so the three sauces you can see there was a spicy a yogurt and a garlic just to try and also a little bit of background there with what's coming up and to start off with, which is, I think they're new, called garlic or garlic waffle bread. So garlic cheesy waffle bread. Um, and it's their kind of like signature um, bread. So the waffle bread, it was pretty nice, but it was just a little bit too thin and kind of it made it a little bit, uh, what's the word, like chewy almost. The bread kind of went a little bit chewy. So imagine in a press, so a, you know, panini press, and you do it a little bit too long, um, and the bread goes kind of like a little bit chewy. It's kind of like that. The cheese and the garlic together was was pretty nice. A bit more like a, I don't know, Pizza Hut um, cheesy garlic bread or the cheesy garlic dippers, which are epic. I need to do one of those or do a review for them at some point. Um, but in general, it was quite nice. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'd have it again, but it, it, was, it was nice in terms of a fair bit of garlic, um, a decent amount of cheese, but it was probably, like I say, just a little bit sort of compressed and a little bit too chewy but you know for the price it wasn't bad so onto these uh kind of like spring i think they're called spring rolls uh beef and chicken so i had one of each and they were pretty nice i mean in terms of like uh spring rolls being more of a, a chinese takeaway um i'm not quite sure where they come into it unless it is a german thing and i'm, I'm just not aware but they were crispy on the outside, obviously kind of a spring roll on the outside and filled really well. A um, little bit of veg in there, obviously beef on one, chicken on the other. I'd, I'd say they were pretty nice. They were kind of like a little bit different. Um, so ultimately, if you're gonna have the meal, I think it comes with them, but you can choose obviously one or the other. Um, and I think you can have cheesy, uh, ch sorry, ch chili bites, cheesy chili bites uh, instead which I haven't tried yet. So overall, I'd say they were they were quite nice, kind of like, a, like I say, a different sort of angle to having a kebab. Although in a sense, you know, spring roll kind of sort of a kebab almost, but without obviously the, the outer coating. So onto their signature kebab, which is again, the waffle bread and this kind of triangular shape, which again, I think is more, um, well, not more, it is, it is their signature. Um, sort of wrap as opposed to a pita bread or, or similar or naan bread. And as you can see there, the reality was pretty close, probably a little bit more veg obviously than, than uh, what's in front of you now, but it was pretty nice. I mean, it was filled exceptionally well. The triangle shape is a little bit, I don't know whether other, other people find the same or found the same. It's a little bit awkward. Like it kind of, you end up with stuff falling out of the sides, but it is, again, a novelty was what I was trying to think of earlier. Just, it's more of a novelty, um, but it was nice. Like the bread uh, or the waffle bread was, was quite nice. It was a little bit sort of, uh, you know, the moisture got to it on the bottom, but ultimately as a kebab goes, it was really thin. It was a bit like the Greek, like a proper traditional Greek um, kebab, but obviously being German Donner kebab, um, there, Boss OG um, kebab meal, which is what the box is behind, 
is laid out really well. Um, it's probably a little bit overkill and it's not that expensive as well, which I think is brilliant. Um, but yeah, choice of Donna meat, fries, Donna spring rolls or chili cheese bites, soft drink, um, and obviously the, the kebab. So it's it's pretty good as a meal. Um, I was I was pretty impressed. And the presentation, you you can't knock the presentation at all. Um, just going back to obviously the other spring roll, which would be I think it was the chicken one. I forget now which way around I did it, but I think it was the chicken one, and I had the beef one first. And as you can see there, really well filled. They weren't hollow. Um, you know, a lot of places, especially like wraps and the burritos, not really filled very well, or more veg, you know, than than the meat, but. Can't really knock them at all. Um, and overall, as you can see, kind of like the presentation with the logo, everything on the, the wrapping. Um, yeah, they, they're, they're a proper brand, um, which I know is obvious, but you know, some places they, they are a brand, but they haven't really got much thought in terms of their packaging. Um, the bread kind of stuck to the outside again on this chocolate one and on the garlic that you can see there. Um, but this was more of a dessert. They don't really do any other dessert. So I thought, why not try it? The waffle bread basically with kind of like a Nutella um, chocolate sauce uh, in the middle. And again, it's just a little bit kind of like too flat. Um, if it wasn't sort of squashed or, or you know, on a, a, on a grill um, as flat, it wouldn't be, I think it's, it's kind of chewy again. Um, and it'd be a little bit more, I guess, fluffy. Um, in terms of, of the bread, but you can see there kind of like the side is almost a bit fluffy, but it was quite nice, you know, as the dessert goes, it was, it was quite nice. Overall meal, I literally can't knock it. I mean, I think they're a, they're a good place, and as you can see in their background in Nottingham. Nine, 8.5, 8, 6.5, and seven. I think that's pretty fair rating, it's a good place. I appreciate all the subscribers, we'll be on to something new next week, and if you haven't, check out these videos.